Thank you for tuning into the Disclosures with Peter the Insider and Jessica Ariel Morocco. Peter is the director of the 12th division of the ACIO, Advanced or Alien Contact Intelligence Organization. Jessica is a galactic liaison and interdimensional seer. Together, they will discuss the most current updates from the ACIO, the Council of Five and other extraterrestrial sources. Make sure to post your questions and comments below. Disclosures, Insider, Intel that keeps you updated with planetary changes. Okay, hello everyone and thank you for joining us today on Disclosures. It's been a little while and I appreciate your patience. I'm very happy that uh, some things have settled down and we're able to have Peter, the insider, back here with us. So without further delay, we're going to get right into it and say, hello, Peter, how are you? Uh, hello to you, Jessica, and hello to all of our listeners. I've been much better than uh, previous times previous few weeks it was bad and I'm finally uh, back and ready to make shows yeah well we're happy to see that you're back and um, uh, and I'm happy to be here because <laughs> it's been difficult for me as well so um, not to take it lightly but you know it's been a bit of a struggle and there are people that are talking about having different experiences. And so um, uh, the reason why I have this image here is because uh, this is from Star Trek Beyond. And it looks like, um, you know, I, I don't really know what her role was in the movie, but it looked very much like this cat being that showed up around me. And then I had other people telling me that they had the same thing that they were seeing and so it started to become a bit of a trend but um, just out of curiosity I was wanting to bring this up to you uh, Peter and and uh, you know we talk about whether or not they, they literally have like this white skin very white skin but maybe uh, there's other ones I guess um, I've seen movies where they look like Black Panthers so um, yes they are Covideros those are Covideros yeah that's true. Just, all right, so explain what the Covidero is to uh, to us so we can understand it. They are the ones they are collecting energies and uh, making coheration of vibrations in order to coheration that means like perfect match of vibrations and that's the stuff they are thanks to that they are making uh, universal uh, wormholes, but it is not like universal from uh, different universes or so, but it's like complete wormholes that you can step into why are those wormholes or multi-portals if you want to call it that way, you can step into another timeline, dim uh, reality, dimension, uh, like megaverse universe whatever and they are doing that you know they are some sort of like merchants but on black market that's it hmm? so are they are they spreading the uh, covid or are they um, preventing covid or what is their role there <sighs> good question what what they are yes they are dealing with covid but technically it's like they they uh, are doing with covid whatever they want and whatever they can because uh, they want to gain if you want to call it that way gain uh, with co uh, with covid and from covid as much as they possibly can and that's the stuff like not only with covid but uh, with any other extremely harmful diseases yeah but that's the stuff 
it's not only with diseases but with illness because uh, firstly whatever firstly right they uh, are doing it's spreading this like mental virus that means like uh, con chaos confusion whatever and once there are too many sources of uh, information nobody uh, knows uh, who, what and who should they believe i mean people whatever and dsh, like a, like a hit like a truck or like a train at full speed and then they get i mean they spread real deal covid do you know what i mean or that i don't know like sars mares or whatever or bird flu or pigs flu or whatever and then people are like what what happened and that's it because they don't know what to believe and who to believe do you know what i mean and it's mutual those mutual effects are uh, supporting each other that's it that's and, it and so and they, they it is creating energy of course negative energy negative vibration and uh, thanks to that they can hijack a collective hive mind and uh, to feed uh, no not themselves to feed their technology huh that's it uh, th these are a species or a hybrid group mm -hmm. covideros they are a uh, species from uh, another dimension another dimension but yeah. they are have like this H hispanic Name, yes, eros, of. eros, yes, like yeah, COVID eros, 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 yeah. eros, eros, yes, yeah. yes, that's true. Yep, and, you and are right. Is it because are they based down in South America, or does this have anything to do with that? Um, uh, a bunch of immigrants <laughs> coming from south of the border. <laughs> the yes, you are right. They firstly were they were firstly spotted in uh, in um, Brazil okay yes and that's true physically spotted or people are seeing them uh, astrally like in, in astrally the dream. astrally by yeah. shamans by shamans yeah that's true yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay um all right so the next we're gonna have like a few different areas there's, there's a movie called the cat people from 1942 i believe and they tell a story of uh, this Mameluke group that came in and, and um, you know, they said, you know, that they were, I guess, their name literally means uh, th a thing possessed or slave. So they kind of overtook, in the story of the movie, um, like it asked Peter to verify that they actually came in and took over Serbia. Um, earlier in, in history and uh, affected the people um, but that brought in this this uh, cat people um, uh, hybrids or something maybe opened a portal or did something it brought them to some kind of uh, I don't know maybe Peter you can um, add what you think I mean I don't know I'm just going by what the movie said yeah it's story. true so it's like they brought them to a lower vibration where this portal came through and and these these beings came through these th from this other reality um but they didn't call them the covideros but they look like black panthers yeah you are right that's yeah. true uh-huh okay um and recently you said you were seeing these links these are the the canadian links yeah so this is like a whole thing with cats. What is what is not what is not like I mean they can do it, but in a normal situation, what the heck? How you can uh, hear links purring like it's nonsense? What you know? It's very loud male you know or it's technically not male but something like that because 
domestic cats me are meowing or whatever, purring when they are happy or whatever. But <laughs> lynx? What the heck? <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. And uh, hearing, I mean, um, making a video footage, multiple video footages, then uh, they were, you know, like domestic cats, like eyes closed and peering. Like, what? There is something wrong here. This is not okay. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's crazy. No, what, what does that mean to you, Peter? Like they were um, becoming more present or louder or like there's something no, else going looks, on there? It looks, it looks like uh, they are feeling more confident <clears throat> because technically, na naturally, naturally, right? They are very shy. They avoid contact with people, all kind of that stuff. Now, absolutely nothing. They go to farms, to the homesteads, so close that people are like, what the heck? What is happening? They are like pumas, like cougars, you know. Yeah. Like absolute, they completely uh, lost. How can I say? Like uh, like uh, attention. Like they they don't care. Like no, nah, I don't care. You know, it's it's crazy. It's like what the heck. So is it f friendly towards humanity or becoming more that's aggressive? The, that's the stuff. The uh, I don't want to say friendly or unfriendly, but it's like something is happening. Because this is not, this is not their natural way of behavior. That's the stuff. All right. And you said you saw one, someone walking with one on with a leash somewhere. Yeah, and I was like, what the heck? Here in 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 Australia, it was like <laughs> this summer. So technically, it was winter in in uh, northern. Uh, Northern, um, like in the U.S. Or yeah, in yeah, in northern yeah. part of 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 uh, world. So you know, in Europe, in U.S., whatever. And it was like what, forty uh, degrees Celsius plus in Canadian leash uh, links uh, on the leash. And he was like, meow, meow. you know, I was like, what the heck? Are you serious? Did you pet it? Did you go over uh, to it? Yes, and that was the problem. He was friendly. And I was like, uh, okay, uh, this is not normal. <laughs> this is <laughs> not normal. Not to mention you have dogs, so they could probably smell the dogs around you. <laughs> yeah, but technically <laughs> it's... It, and that's another problem. Cat shouldn't be happy with the dogs or whatever. Ah, happy, friendly or whatever. This is like... Uh, what? This is like quote in quotes a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> Do you know what yep. I mean? <laughs> like, no, I mean don't 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 laugh. This is like something is wrong here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I a lot of people have cats and dogs in their house, but I uh, mean, uh, yes, but but they're not the, feral. They're not feral. Uh, yes, yeah. they they are not happy. Like literally happy. You know. Like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> You know, it's, this is like something is something is wrong here, and I mean very wrong here. Jesus. Well, we have this this other story that I found is back in Nico, and uh, it's a Japanese uh, supernatural creature confused with another cat-like yokai. Uh, the distinction between them is often ambiguous, and uh, here is. Here is an image of uh, Bakaniko, and it's wearing a, uh, like a, I don't know, it was a napkin or something, a towel yeah. on its head. And I think it's it, implying that it's the shape shifting woman. And yeah, she, yeah, yeah. An yeah, older yeah. woman, and she turns into this cat, but, you know, still has the, the towel. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. But just by the way, not older. Recent time, in recent times, 
many young and very attractive women uh, shapeshifted into cat-ish like creature. Yes. Creatures. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like. But that... it's true. This is true from Japan. I am not kidding. Yeah, but even like in that movie that we just said, the cat people, she was an attractive woman. And yeah, uh, yeah and then she was shape shifting. And there was, there's another one from 1982, I believe, the cat people. And uh, she just was... by the way, yeah, you were right. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I think it's, um, I'm trying to think of the movie star there. Uh, I can't think of her name right now. But anyhow, yeah, she's, she's young and, um, you know, definitely. But here's, you see, the cat is dancing. Yeah, on, I on know. Like bipedal, I know you, you are, know, right? So not just on their hind legs. So, um, you know, this is, I guess we're getting past the lore and looking at, you know, some of these interesting uh, stories. Isn't, but is, isn't this crazy? It is. It, it's crazy because, like, I, I don't know, I haven't really thought about it. You think of a werewolf, and it's commonly spoken about. But you don't necessarily think about the cat people. And I've I've known of people like, you know, I have a neighbor. She has probably about, I don't know, at least five cats. Uh-huh. And, and she'll actually put them on leashes <laughs> in the front yard. It's it's kind of funny. And um, they're I don't very... know why I'm just saying this is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's what she's worried that they're going to run off or something. I don't know. I mean, she wants them to get some sunshine and be outside, but she's very protective of them. And uh, so, I mean, I do know that, that people do all sorts of things. They, some people love their cats, and uh, and they're very connected. But to actually shape shift into a cat is something that I hadn't thought of. But I believe I have interacted with them in the past. And that once now that I'm starting to think about it, and it's um, starting to become very real. Uh, in that story of the cat people in 1942. I, I was just watching it. it was referred to me by a friend and recently I had you know my friend had lost her cat and I was I was worried about it you know I went with her and um, when we drove up and there was a lot of snow on the ground and we drove up and you know she was excited she's going to start looking for him and there was uh her dad was there and and we all got out of the car and I looked down in the snow and the cat was like right under the tire tracks like she drove over the cat and I was like, I was horrified. I'm like, Oh my God, this is like terrible. You know, I mean, you know, here's a yep. nice little cat. And in the movie, when they told me to watch this movie, same thing happened. The cat gets run over and I'm like, there's someone definitely trying to communicate something here with me. And they wanted to uh, get the information out. So, um, I think we have some other stories of the, like in in ancient Egypt, you know that I think this is an article from 2019, November 25th, and that there's a big scarab statue. Uh, look at the cat mummies. I mean, the cats were revered throughout history. Yeah, you are right. And uh, there was uh, another one here. Um, Another grave. What article is this? Uh, the and just 2021. By the way, you, do you know? You uh, do you know that some of those? And I am not kidding. I am not kidding. Some of those mummies get alive. Yes, that would no, make sense. No, I mean it. I mean it for real. And they were like, eh, eh, eh. you know, those those uh, archaeologists. They went crazy. Some of them. Uh, I mean, they get their hair, uh, you know, like silver, all kind Turned of that white. stuff. Yeah, yeah. White, yes. The, uh, end up in, in uh, you know, uh, psychiatric facility, whatever. Ah, jeez. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, that's another thing, too. It's almost like the um, the Egyptians were very intertangled with, with the cats and dogs as well. You have Anubis everywhere, which is a dog. Yeah. And um, highly respected. I've felt like I've communicated with Anubis before. And then because they, they're they like humanoid in a way. It's very strange. Yes. And uh, so there's this. Um, 
then of course the cats you know and they have their their dog a cat uh gods so but yeah. i do believe that they do come back to life because every time they seem to find some of these mummies something happens in the world like <laughs> like no, something no, strange it's true. it's true yeah 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 so maybe with the cats as well and the dogs that something like that's happening yeah here's here's another movie called immortal and you can see there's there's the half half cat half dog yeah you are right and that's I mean, that's a really, um, you know, and this is about Horus and Horus being, uh, um, I'm, I'm trying to remember what, well, anyhow, he ends up having a relationship with this woman, but she's also a hybrid of some sort. And, uh, you know, he said that she can mate with the gods and then have children. Yep. So it's like they come here and they do their stuff. Um, but they're, you know, I guess, like I said, that they're, they're, they're around in our space. So I think that's a duplicate and well, why don't we go, um, here's another one. Now, I don't know, this is something different, but it's something that I wanted to bring up of why are we seeing these blue dogs? Because it, 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 it is not like we are seeing. They are blue. Right. Yeah. And this, they were found, the, here's the article. The article is in Russia. Uh, first, uh, there were bright blue stray dogs and bright green ones. Russia is trying to solve a mystery of these dogs, which appeared in an industrial area hundreds of miles apart. Seven dogs with blue fur were found roaming near a derelict glass factory in, in Jersey. Zinsk? Nizhny Novgorod. Nizhny Novgorod. Right here, Nizhny Novgorod. East of Moscow, the picture went viral. 370 after... kilometers or 230 miles away. Right. Yep. Yep. And that happened on the 11th of February. Isn't it weird? The factory had been producing acrylic glass and Prussia gas. It is suspected that the dogs rolled around in powdered blue dye in the plant. On the 13th of February, the dogs were brought to vets and where their blood and feces sample were taken, traces of Prussian blue dye were found in their fur. Uh, Russian media report that the dogs appear healthy and are eating well, but there are still concerns that a toxic chemical such as copper sulfite sulfate might have caused the color change well this just by the way not true because technically they are like that ducks from another part of do you know what i mean well that factory from has probably another been there for of, years what the factory has probably been there for years why didn't this happen sooner than if that but was this the is cause what i'm saying because they are right now here they were not here. They are from another part of the uh, universe. So, what is bringing all this stuff in from other universes, Peter? Because um, they are here to observe. Or does this have to, anything to do with the uh, CERN or quantum computing? Or yes, 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 you are right. Opening up portals and... Exactly. So then they, they have an access into our space and they're coming over and inf influencing. They have to be influencing. Yeah, What's you are right. Here? Mm -hmm. uh, the other question is, is are humans from here traveling over into their space as well? Yeah. Yeah, you are right. Okay, so that's like um, Cyberpunk 2077 is another reality and that people are traveling over in there as well yes, you, or, are, you are you are right yeah because yeah. everyone people were worried that that was part of our timeline but it's it's another um area another place in our universe yeah you are right so um yeah there's the green fur that they were talking about yeah and the dogs look friendly what 
They look friendly. The dogs friendly. look good. Oh, sorry for that. Yeah, yeah. They look like kind of cute dogs. You know, yeah. but it's weird. It's weird. Well, I mean, I guess the first thing is that people would be worried that they're unhealthy. I mean, from my point of view, not weird, because do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, uh, we know. Yeah. We know. Some of them are very, very blue, and some of them... Some of them have, like, a little bit of it on them. You know, like, this one definitely has a lot of... But anyhow, that's... I'm just saying how it is. No? Isn't it crazy? There was also a uh, feral cat that got on, on a plane. And they had to stop mid-flight. So, like I said, there's something going on with the cats. Um, they actually had to turn the, this plane back around. Yeah. And uh, so the, the cat was definitely reacting. But how the cat got on the train uh, on the plane in the first place, I think that that um, they were transporting the cat and somehow it got loose. So, um, all right. So I'm gonna go back, and this was one of our topics that I wanted to bring up because it, it changes. It gets off. I thought I'd keep all the cat stuff together, but. Um, so this goes into another topic of, because we did bring up uh, cyberpunk, of this experimentation called Unit 731, and it made me think about Murkoff, short for Manchu Detachment 731, also known as the Camo Detachment. Ishii Unit uh, was a covert biological and chemical warfare research and development unit of the Imperial Japanese Army that undertook lethal human experimentations during the Second Sino-Japanese War in 1937 and 1945 of World War II. It was responsible for some of the most notorious war crimes carried out by the Imperial Jap Japan. Unit 731 was based on the Pingfang district of Harbin, the largest city in Japanese puppet state of Manchukuo, now Northeast China, and had active branch offices throughout China and Southeast Asia. It was officially known as the Epidemic Prevention and Water Purification Department of Kwantung Army. Originally set up under the um, Kenpetai, I can't say that, Kenpetai yeah, Military Kenpai, yep. uh, Police of the M Empire of Japan, Unit 731 was taken over in command and commanded until the end of the war by General Shiro Ishii and uh, combat medic officer in a uh, Kwangtung army. The facility itself was built in uh, 1935 as a replacement for the Zongma fortress and to expand the capabilities for Ishii and his team, the program received generous support from the Japanese government up to the end of the war in 1945. Unit 731 and the other units of the Epidemic Prevention and Water Purification Department were biological weapon production, testing, deployment, and storage facilities. They routinely conducted tests on human beings who were referred to internally as LOGS, L-O-G-S. Additionally, the biological weapons were tested in the field in cities and towns in China Estimates of those killed by Unit 731 and its related programs range up to a half a million people. That's a lot of people. Uh, that's kind of... The, that's a lot, half a million people. situation, yep. Researchers involved in Unit 731 were secretly given immunity by the United States in exchange for the data that they gathered through human experimentation. Other researchers... The Soviet forces managed to arrest first were tried at the Khabarovsk war crime trials in 1949. The Americans did not try the researchers, so the information experience gained in bioweapons would be co-opted into their biological warfare program, much as they had done with German researchers in Operation Paperclip on 
the 6th of May, 1947. Douglas MacArthur, a Supreme Command of the Allied Forces, wrote to Washington that additional data, possible, possibly some statements from Ishii, can probably be obtained by informing Japanese involved that information will be retained in intelligence channels, it will not be employed as war crime evidence. Victim accounts were then largely ignored or dismissed in the West as communist propaganda. So they, <clears throat> the Americans were equally guilty in, in just yep. saying, yeah, we That's don't want to see this as a war crime. And, but... Um, yes, technically the, as an exchange for data, you know, that's it. But there are horrible things that they did to people here, like like torturous stuff. Very, yeah. very bad. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that that was it, you know, situations, you know, you can read it, it was absolutely crazy. This is like Wall Rider, this is like Murkoff as well. And this absolutely, is absolutely. The concentration camps in um, in uh, uh, Germany and um, and also that the, well, there's this things that went on, like you said, in Canada with Murkoff and in Russia, right? Yes, yes. But uh, probably other but countries as well. Technically, technically, main part of uh, Murkoff stuff uh, happened in in uh, states too. It was crazy because he was uh, kicked out. Murkov was kicked out permanently because they like, what? This is this guy is fool. What the heck? You know, and they kicked him out. Like once they realized, I mean, the government realized which kind of fool he is. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was crazy. It was like, what the heck? You know, I don't know. Should should we uh, read all this because people can uh, can uh, read it? I don't know. What what do you think? I just read the first part of it so people can fully understand what this is, and that way. Because you know, look at that. Look at that. How tiny it is, and that means how long is this uh, article? Yes, that's photo of. I mean, that's a that, facility where yeah. where they did it. There was there was a video. There was a video there that um was uh, it talked in detail about what went on there and it was horrifying peter horrif like i can't even imagine and then it says that there was a half a million people that are exposed to this i mean that's but which kind of stuff you mean i don't know which all, all of that stuff it just is a various forms of torture and in trying them you know with with um gases and in all different types of things and you know seeing their response we, so we, you can roll down just by the way yeah i mean if you want i can i can read further i know i know that they made gases stuff what they what they did i don't know else alcohol whatever i think it was just um physical torture uh secret poison gas research Yep. And, um, yeah, it looks like chemical attacks, Ypres chlorine attacks, gas. Chlorine, yep. Poison gases, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yep. yep. You are right. Well, I, think they, they pro I think they did some viral stuff, too, kind of like the, the, um, like, you know, what we're going through with COVID. Mm -hmm. kind of this, it's very I mean, it's very similar like like what we are going through right now right so technically the whole world is their lab if you if we want to call it that way well like I mean, you don't know it's true it's true everyone talks about you know the genocide of of what happened in, in germany but what about the genocides that have happened in other areas and right now this is i think that if if everyone was honest that this is a mass genocide with COVID. Yes, it's that's an attempted true. mass genocide. Yeah, because yeah. it was it was created in a lab. It wasn't like a natural occurrence. Or, for happened. example, they they forced people to have uh, uh, sex with uh, what it was uh, infected with what it was syphilis. Uh, I think. Yeah, yeah. This that's the other thing that they a syphilis in this in this um, lab 
they had people can you uh, go down i i think we, it, it it will be written down more down i think there's a biological warfare here yep in fact plague infected fleas yes uh para para typhoid fever jeez pathogens bubonic plague that was anthrax right, what Black the Death. heck everything of that bubonic cholera uh smallpox botulism which is poisoning food poisoning yep. uh porcelain shells let's say bombs that were designed with porcelain shells yeah typhoid biological everything weapons what they, against... everything what they were able to to understand and to experiment on at that time yeah Jesus, man. that was that was a viral part of it here's the weapons testing yep there's grenades and other distances uh flamethrowers tested on humans pathogen releasing bombs chemical weapons yep centrifuges what the heck jeez frostbite testing yep and there's uh syphilis yeah so they would force people that were had syphilis to have sex with people that didn't have it yeah that's just like what the fudge and the rape and forced pregnancy what the heck i mean this is uh <clears throat> you know female prisoners were forced to become pregnant for use in experiments the hypothetical possibility of vertical transmission from mother to child so then they would have a child to see if they would also get the disease particular syphilis was then stated reason for torture fetal survival and damage in mother's reproductive organs were object of interest i mean this is horrible a large number of babies were born in captivity they have been there have been no accounts of any survivors there have been no accounts of any survivors of Eunice 7731, children included. It is suspected that the children of female prisoners were killed after birth or aborted. Nah, this is crazy. It's it's real. It's I mean, if I read everything, people would be like horrified. Um, and but then, that's the stuff they can they can read it like pretty much all what they. One because we provide the links, uh, you know, all the links in uh, in uh, description. Am I right? Yeah. This is uh, Lieutenant General Shiro Ishi. And he was yep. the one. He was a commander over the unit seven thirty one. Yeah. So there's um, all the names of those involved, and I I don't know what kind of mind you have to have to actually detach yourself so much from humans and uh you know not but, really uh, you will be maybe surpri uh, surprised but people there are many people they enjoy uh, suffering of another people and uh, you know like uh, sadism yeah 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 something like that you will be surprised you will be surprised uh, yeah uh -uh. it's unfortunate that we have that kind of power given to those people but you know this is you know there's there's no like you know there's some people that know when there's a limit and then there's others that will get worse and worse and worse and they just have no there, there's nothing to restrain them for going into even a darker place you know um here's this guy Petey, i guess uh, i don't know who he was but he states that i was reminded of dante's inferno Abandoned hope of all who enter here. His diary recorded the regular injections of infectious diseases that were disguised as preventative vaccinations. <laughs> no, you don't know. I mean, I could say that's, that's it right there. You know, that's it right there. Yep. His entry for January 30th, in 1943 notes, everyone received... A 5 cc of typhoid para, para typhoid a inoculation and uh, then there was a funeral service for 142 dead 
186 were, were had died in uh, five days. They were all Americans. So that's that's something I've never heard of this. I I stumbled nope. on on nope. uh, YouTube. You've heard of it, Peter, right? Yeah, of course. Yep. But this no one ever talks about this. All the only the only concentration camp in, that we've ever been taught about in the United States is in germany so germans are the only oh like, not true you are not true that's in, in my history of, of uh, education, not germany not germany it's in in uh, auschwitz in uh, auschwitz. Uh, yes sir, that's correct it's yes. in poland okay. it's in poland in poland that's right treblinka it's due in poland right. but dachau it's in in germany yeah you are right but the, in my um education throughout school was we've never learned of any other criminal behavior other than pointing the finger at the Germans, but there are others that have done the exact same thing, if not worse. Yeah, you are right, absolutely. Yeah, no doubt about that. And why is it that they haven't been brought to the light and been held responsible? You know, because they always have to offer to offer something. Do you know what I mean? So that in this case, they traded their they traded the information, and the government says, "All right, we won't talk about it because you you shared information with us." But they did that with Operation Paperclip too, though. Yep, you are right. So I don't I don't understand this. And this this too was uh, I don't know if you ever heard of this. That I'm sure you have the Russian. Yeah, of course. Do you know what? And that was crazy. Mean. Look at that. And this photo is real. Like, what the heck, man? <laughs> it's just crazy. All right. The story is that, what, what was it, 14 days? No, 15 days. During World War II, Russian scientists forced five prisoners to stay awake for 15 days using an experimental stimulant. The results were horrifying. Uh, this guy, Mr. Balin, he has. He, it sounds like he has a uh, military background, and he he brings in some really good uh, information just, just, about his history. Just go to. We can go to Wiki, and we can uh, talk about that. Wikipedia. I think we can do it. It's crazy, man. According to the Russia Beyond, the story originated from a forum challenging users to create the scariest urban legend. They're calling it an urban legend. The story accounts an experiment set in the 1940s Soviet test facility in a military-sanctioned uh, scientific experiment. Five political prisoners were kept in a sealed gas chamber with airborne stimuli continually administered in order to keep the subjects awake for 30 consecutive days. The prisoners were falsely promised that they would be set free from the prison if they completed the experiment. The subjects behaved as usual during the initial days, talking to each other, whispering to the researchers through one way through a one-way glass. Though it was noted that their discussion gradually became darker as a subject matter. After nine days, one subject began screaming uncontrollably for hours, while the others had no reaction to his outburst. The man screamed for so long that he tore his own vocal cords. The man didn't know why he was screaming. He was eventually paralyzed. When the second one started screaming, the others prevented the researchers from looking inside by pacing torn book pages in, on their own feces and the porthole windows. A few days passed without the researchers being able to look inside, during which the chamber was completely silent. The researchers used the intercom to test if the subjects were still alive and got a short response of a uh, subject expressing compliance. On the 15th day, the researchers decided to turn off the stimulating gas and reopen the chamber. So they had this gas running the whole time, yep. preventing them from sleeping. That's true. But they got addicted to it, and the subjects did not want the gas to turn off for fear that they would fall asleep. Upon looking inside, they discovered that the four surviving subjects had performed lethal and severe mutilation 
in disembowelment on themselves during the past days, including tearing off flesh and muscle, removing multiple ab abdominal internal organs, practicing self-cannibalism, and allowing 10 centimeters of blood and water to accumulate in the floor by jamming uh, pieces of flesh from the first subject. I mean, it's, it, it gets grotesque. It gets really gross. I'm getting sick right now just, like, thinking about this. Um, I'm going to skip down a bit. The subjects also violently refused to leave the chamber, begged the scientists to continue administering the stimulant, murdering one soldier and severely injuring another that attempted to remove them. After eventually being removed from the chamber, all the subjects were shown to exhibit extreme strength, unprecedented, unprecedented resistance to drugs and sedatives, the ability to remain alive despite lethal um, injuries, and desperate desire to stay awake and be given the stimulant. It was also found that if any one of the subjects fell asleep, they would die. And yeah. uh, pretty much they all died, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, this this is a really horrible, abusive, terrible thing that happened here. And um, yeah, that's true. That happened. That, that happened. It's not an urban legend, like they're trying to say. Because oh, of course, this is not. I mean, they have the scariest urban legend origins. See that? Uh, I mean, I mean, of course they did so. They. Um, how can I say that? They, uh, how can I say it? Say, respectively, they rather, rather turn it into a quote in quotes urban legend than, uh, how can I say it? Then, then say, ah, uh, this uh, truly, this really happened. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. That was it. That was it. So, but you can be, you can be quotes in quotes in quotes sure uh, that, uh -uh. like uh, uh, that uh, it happened, and that's a problem. That's a problem. Jesus. And this was their uh, military sanctions in the 1940s, military sanctioned scientific experiment. Why Why are they doing these things? Why are they trying to see, um, get into the uh, mind of humans? Really, it's really easy. It's really easy. It's technically like uh, the same stuff uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, Americans did you know with uh, people on their most isolated uh, it's s4 it's like uh, you've got uh, area 51 right mm -hmm. yeah or groom leg if you want to call it that way and there is s4 what is another like many people believe it's sister facility or whatever it's only a part of of uh, area 51 or groom leg it's not true it's it's far from being a part it's far away but the long story short they did very similar stuff and uh, it uh, was like 1942 1940 1941 1942 and then they, they were like well, what happened guys what happened because it was like during i mean after short after invasion uh german invasion to so uh, soviet union because it it's not true it wasn't russia it was soviet union period end of story and they want to uh, create quotes in quotes unsleeping soldiers and of course they americans want to create unsleeping soldiers too and especially not soldiers of course, they were soldiers, but uh, ma marines and air pilots, because they were building uh, special uh, aircraft carriers, bombers, and uh, and uh, uh, you know, and uh, attack planes, you know. Uh, with very 
low fuel consumption, aka very good fuel economy, uh, and uh, they need to have to make them uh, away, fully concentration. No, that's it. That's it. Now, I was told that Area 51, I mean, has maybe hybrids or some ETs. No, no, no. Once again, I'm talking about S4. S4. Not you talk about, so S, S4 then, is that connected to extraterrestrial? Yes, but it's, it is not like 50 uh, co connected or something like that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's not easy. Right, but well, I'm not like uh, in distance wise, but I mean, as far as their projects, there's a connection in their project. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, that's so true. That's true. The 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 question that I'm I'm asking is, uh, are these humans or uh, hybrids, crossbreeds? Are they ETs that they're doing these experiments on? Most of them ETs and the hybrids. Yes, that's true. So. Even if the ETs get through some of these projects, it still doesn't reflect on how humans would act in some of these situations, right? Yes, you are right. So it doesn't, as you know, as a scientist, you want to have, you know, something that is, you know, that would reflect. I know that they work on lab rats and, and other types of um, animals to do testing for humans. Which, you know, I guess in some ways it works, some ways it doesn't. But um, now the other question is, is has this caused galactic problems, which I would think uh, by testing on, on hybrids or ETs or crossbreeds? Yeah, you are right. Is that why we're kind of in trouble here because of some of them getting harmed? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are right. Uh, are we going to ever be able to fix some of these problems? We fix some problems and we created another ones. It's easy. When you say we, you mean like the ACIO or just... No, you know, no, humans? we as a people. It's as easy. People. Yeah. Is it because we don't, we don't like ETs or are afraid of ETs? So No. Because uh, it's a uh, discontinuation, like making a disharmony uh, in in a timeline. There, there are you know this domino effect, like uh, butterfly uh, effect. Nah, once you did something, it's bad. Is anyone trying to fix it? <laughs> once again. You can fix one thing, or you, let's say, imagine that you will fix one thing, and uh, you, you, will, you will cause three or four, maybe five and other problems. That's it. And that's it how it is, like it or not. It is true. I am not, I am not kidding. Well, when are they going to close down some of these experimental facilities? No, no, this is not about experimental facilities. This is about creating problems, creating distortion, no? Nah? Like making, okay, we, we will, for example, uh, we will prevent Second World War or First World War, for example, and what the heck will happen? There will be this super volcano eruption, for example, in, you know, in um, what is it uh, Yosemite? You do you know what I'm trying to say? So that you're saying that there's some kind of imbalance and nature. Yes, of course. Of all, all the time, you, all, you, all the time you you are doing this all the time, or Grand Canyon. I don't know which which one of. But do you know what I'm trying to say? This super volcano. In well, there's supposed to be a, a big super volcano under Europe too. My, no, uh, I'm just, I, I know, but I'm just saying that how it is. You fix some, something and you create another problem. You will fix, for example, like, okay, uh, there will be no dividing be, uh, for like, no, there will be no, I don't know, there will be no Cold War, for example, but shh, what, what will happen? There will be tremendous earthquakes, 
and there will be no Japan, for example. All Japan, it will be sink. Do you know what I mean? It will sink. It is like that. You will prevent, uh, for example, Chernobyl and something, some another problem will, will appear or two or three problems will, will appear. It is like that. It is always like that. All the time. All the time. Nothing is perfect. None is perfect. But experimentation it, is something that really was never supposed to happen in the first place. People are uh, not supposed once to Once again, once again, I know, but it is natural way of, of, of th uh, doing things, going things. No? It is. How is that natural to experiment on people in a cruel way? No, once again, I am saying that it doesn't matter if it is like quote unquote planetary wise that means gaia wise you know so so something technically it looks like we can't prevent it but technically it is like time flow do you know what i'm trying to say it is yeah. it always it, it always i know we was... can't it's not good to try to change the past because then it it throws something else off and it, it, it creates another problem i understand that no, that's it. That's but that's it. with natural anomalies. But I, I still don't think that the, taking the, um, a tw you know, like... Yeah, but I will say you something, okay? I will say you something. People will hate me for that, but I will say you something. People hate, and of course, I don't like it. I don't like it neither, of course. But people hate Mengele's ex experiments, Joseph Mengele experiments. But let's say 80, maybe 90 percent of modern uh, of modern medicine is based of, on it. Like it or not, period, end of story, it is. It is the, pretty much the same, same shit and I will not watch my language as uh, what we read just right now. It, in exchange for information, for, for data with... Uh, I mean, uh, from research from uh, Unit 731, uh, and they will overlook it like nothing happened. That's it. That's it. So, yes, of course, experiments were horrible. They were horrible. Uh, not hundreds of thousands. Uh, millions of people died. That's true. Those of are all souls. That, uh, all those souls belong to the universe. They don't belong to anybody to experiment. Yeah, on. but I'm saying, but I'm saying that thanks to that, to those crazy experiments, uh, it helped to uh, make not steps, a huge, uh, let's say, <laughs> huge moves like. Make, creating a dimension moves in in uh, modernization in uh, medicine like it or not is true like it or not is true it's uh, no pay no gain principle like it or not it is like it is yeah? you need to accept this no i know that many people are benefiting from a lot of different things they don't even realize it that others have been uh sacrificed because of it but i i still think that those souls now it creates a ripple in time and those souls have to be held are, are accountable for you know mass murder and because the problem is 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 a, a lot of these experimenters got away with things because they were very smart in how they handled it but um then yeah but would... i want to ask i want to ask you right how many people ever before we talked about it right yeah. how many people ever heard about someone called murkov how many none i can i can bet everything i have in, including my own life that none none no none none they still and don't it believe is, it. They it still is, don't believe it's true. Yes, yes. And it is just because uh, 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 Canadian, technically not Canadian, but it's under it's, Commonwealth, so technically like uh, um, British government, you know, like 
cooperating British and Can British Canadian and American, government. And American uh, too, right? And, and American, yes. Those three governments accept that, okay, do your crazy stuff, do whatever you want, whatever you need, just bring just bring us the, the uh, you know, data. the data, something what we can use in, in combat, in battlefield. That's it. That's but because, it. But because the, the governments have allowed a lot of this stuff, now the whole earth is on a an experiment. Every single human in this planet you, is subjected. You are right. Because it, how can I say it, it raised uh, above the certain limit and Earth, like Mother Earth, like Gaia is 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 uh, raging and I don't want to say she is happy. No, she is not happy, but she is not helping us to prevent COVID stuff because she's like, hmm, you did all uh, the, the bad things to, to yourself. Uh, people like she's in uh, she's the, she has this exactly in her mind you mean th you, that we've abused the earth in that kind no of no no you you did to yourself i mean she's thinking about us between us mutually and uh, in the first place and in the second place and you uh, abuse me you poison me yeah. ah so okay look at it uh, fight with it if you are smart enough and strong enough Fight with, fight with your own uh, uh, inventions. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And do, do you know what? Actually, I'm on her side. Because, because uh, people... I don't know if we deserve to live. If we will have this shitty mind, I don't know if we as a, as a species deserve to live. No, I don't think so. Like it or not, I don't know if we deserve to live because we are sick minded. Yeah, that's true. You mean because of no, the not pollution us. and not, not us, not us. I mean, you, me, uh, our our listeners, but vast majority of people, not only because of pollution, poisoning, but technically how we are behaving towards ourselves mutually and it is not because of some experiments or something like that but look look uh, at common things very yeah, basic we're not things. nice to each other we're yes yeah. this is what i'm trying to say so it's, so like, it's a consciousness issue is is not very good in, absolutely, in absolutely absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah, and it that, that that does reflect on how the earth is treated it does yes. reflect because you have yes. a conscience you don't want to, you know, start spray painting everything. You don't want to start, um, you know, putting any type of dumping chemicals into the ground or into the water. You know, you don't want to do anything horrible. You don't want to burn down people's houses and things like that, you know. You are right. Yep. Yeah. J just general kindness. I mean, people put a high level on things and objects, and they, they have a less regard on what's happening to the people. It's like they're detached. Yeah, that's, detached, that's, from the, detached from the nature. Yeah, detached from nature, detached I mean, from I others. mean, do you know yeah. what? If you want to learn so something, if you want to learn something, I invite all the people, all the people I, I invite, here, land down under to Australia. I invite them and I will go with them. I will drive, will drive with them, drive with them. And no, it will be long, barefoot, barefoot walk because they like it like that. That is their wish to Aborigines people. 50,000 years old culture. And look at that. This is their their sayings. If you kill uh, Earth, you will die. Kill Earth. That means poison Earth, poison water, whatever. This is it. But that goes this for all indigenous people. Same thing, right? I mean, they they know this. Yes, but I'm saying that this is one of the oldest. oldest I don't cultures. want to say all the the oldest one, but the one of the oldest cultures 
they still exist right now. Yeah. This is it. They are uh, going barefoot. They, uh, you know, government, uh, they offered like, hey, we can make paved roads, whatever. No, they refuse because, nah, this is nonsense. We, we uh, went barefoot for kilometers, miles, miles, tens, dozens of miles, dozens of kilometers. No, it was like that. They used spears. They never uh, hunt more than they need. That's it. No, that's it. I uh, invite all people and especially from big cities when they have plenty of stuff, all the stuff they don't need, right? Because it's like it's, you know, some sort of, how can we say it, opulence. No, forget about that. Just go here, land down under and they will teach you. They will teach you. No, that's it. Peter, we're going to have a long line of people that want to meet you and say, when, when are you going to do this? To this? <laughs> no, I am saying, hey, but this is it what I am saying. This is true. This is, this is uh, because those people uh, are very good. They will never, ever hurt you. Never. No. Yes, they will hurt you. Yes, they will. Once you will uh, or you won't hurt the mother nature, the earth. Yes, they are very protective about that. Yes, that's it. There, there is a story about um, when John Glenn went up into space that he saw all these little, like fireballs, little tiny. He he said it looked like fireflies, but it was up in space. And the story was that the Aborigines actually found out that there was going to be a space mission and they did a ceremony and the, the the fire from the flame actually rose up to him do you know yes, what I'm that's talking true. About? yes that's true and because of the Murkoff Murkoff experimentation uh, John Glenn was uh, had some of my energy just by the way yes yeah. Another another famous famous uh, guy, yes. Yeah, which is why I have memories of of you know travel and and things like that. Um, but I do, I I thought it was interesting how they they show the power of that, and um, it's interesting the the connection of the native people have because uh you know I, I was close enough to the Native Americans, and. Uh, even even when I traveled out to uh, uh, Norway and Sweden, and when I went to Iceland, those people have been there for a long time as well. Yeah, you and are. Right. There's a whole different energy. You know, you can feel it. There's there's a love for nature, and the nature just feels very very beautiful, very comfortable. And um, um, but yeah, I mean it's 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 uh, a very very um, harmonious way that we should people will be living in and if they're living in harmony then uh less things will happen i think yes less bad things will happen and and but i think that a whole bunch of people are going to be asking me when they can meet you now peter <laughs> <laughs> so we'll all take a trip out to australia <laughs> i'm just saying how it is you know? people would do that they would actually do that they would Probably, you know, go go there and take off their shoes or whatever, go barefoot and, and walk the land, you know. Because technically this happened. This happened. People will, people and even like they don't, not only don't believe it, they like, nah, it's nonsense. It doesn't, it's, it's, it wasn't like that, you know, it, I mean, it, it isn't like it wasn't, it is not like that. It can't be it they are primitive they don't have anything and i was like okay and this is it they don't have anything they don't have anything you know and that's it they don't have because of they don't have anything they have everything and they are like oh, what do you know what i'm trying to say yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> it's crazy because it's because once it's you, that it's once inner you have e once you have everything, you have nothing. Do you know or what I'm trying to say? You're never satisfied. That's why you see these very famous wealthy people always trying, needing more, needing more yeah. attention, needing more to to more houses, needing more to compete with this and that person, and it's a constant something and they literally do not look happy to me they don't look happy no they will never be no they're, they're not satisfied yep. i mean the people that are satisfied have a loving home or a loving uh uh you know have good friends um have have yeah of course a roof over their head somewhere but it it's not necessarily opulent and um people that you know like i i'm surrounded by trees you know so you know, no, it's kind no, of no. I, I was I was talking especially about those people. They are you know like many many. They have plenty of of stuff and they will never be never be happy. Yep, this right. is it. Yeah, and and happiness is not going to come from things. Yeah, and it's not going to come from fame either. <laughs> yeah, it, you are right. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, it's a brief excitement, but then it's. Yeah, it's something else. It's it like I have a memory out, of that. It will fade out very, very fast. Yes. Yeah. You are right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are right. Uh huh. Yes. Yes, you are right. So uh, I don't know. Maybe from my point of view, many people will will be like, "Nah, they got off topic." No, it is not like off topic or something like that. This is true. This is this is how it happened. Sometimes you have to look at the worst information that's out there to to have a realization that what is actually important here, what is important, and and you see that that you know uh, humans have tried so many different things, and if you look at their their inner thoughts, they're discontent, they're they're sad. Scientists too, that they, they you know they're trying to achieve some kind of award or you know, stand out in the science world. And, and, and that's where, you know, I've seen like, you know, some of these stories where, you know, people that are, that are working with um, genetics or working in some area and they're trying to outshine or try to stand out. But meanwhile, they start getting into um, something that's dangerous for humans, but that doesn't stop them. Yeah, and they keep going. It's like uh, there was that movie Splice I, I watched, and there was a human hybrid there, and uh, it's like you know morally wasn't thinking about how this could affect anyone else or how the uh, being that they were bringing in and how they would be rejected or what was going to happen there. So it wasn't like a natural occurrence, but a deliberate lab room experiment, and. But, you know, it brings us back to, like, you know, discontentment is, is happening even, like, in the scientific world, in, in the business world, the corporations. Um, and, you know, Peter, the whole time, we it, the answer is right there in front of them. But they refuse to look at it. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, it was very it is, it is it. it, it, it that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing. That's the problem. It is not they don't believe or they don't know they refuse to believe they refuse to know that's the stuff yep yeah exactly. they, think, they think it's not they think they need something else but they don't realize until after it's done that it's an empty it's like an emptiness that it doesn't fill them it doesn't satisfy them it doesn't it doesn't um, give them uh, that inner peace. And the inner peace is what all humans are looking for. And they try to find it in all different ways, but they can't because it's within them. Yep. And they're not looking within. They're looking everywhere on the outside and in the feelings of jealousy and envy and competitiveness in a way of, of cutting down somebody else or thinking that they have to, you know, go through all those experience experiments or experiences um and they're just creating more areas of pain for themselves yeah so you know we're trying to trying to provide you know with all the information that you know peter and you have access to records i've i have visions i've seen the past i've seen future um 
But at the end of the day, I agree with you 100%. It's, it's really just, you know, feeling content within yourself and, and understanding the, the power of love and, and your connection to the earth and taking care of the earth, being in harmony with the animals and, and everything around us, I think, is, is what's going to help people tremendously. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what are the next topic. What is the next topic? Or if you want, we topics? can we can we can stop here because I think no, it's is... fine. But, I mean, are we are, are we over two hours? I don't think so. I don't think so. We do have more. If you want to keep going, we have a few. Yeah, more. I mean, I mean, which one? I don't know which ones. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> um, here's something that I found. Uh. Okay. This this thing right here is called kof, kofun. It's in kofun, Japan. Yeah. yeah, it's ancient tombs kept under lock. It looks like a big, huge lock from an aerial perspective. Okay. It is megalith tombs or uh, tumuli in Northeast Asia? Kofun, kofun were, were mainly constructed in the Japanese ar archipelago between the middle of the 3rd century and the early 7th century CE. The term is the origin of the name of Kofun period, which indicates the middle 3rd century to um, early middle 6th century. Many Kofun have distinctive keyhole-shaped mounds, which are unique to ancient Japan. And the Mozu Fer Feruchi Kofungun, or Tumalus, Clusters were inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2019 and uh, is one of the number of the Asuka Fujiwara Bara, uh, residing in the tentative list. So here it is. Oh, it just looks like a big key. Is this a. It felt very much like a portal to me. I thought we were talking about some of the issues of Japan. Here is showing how it's raised. Yep. And um, maybe if this is a burial area, was this like a rite of passage like the Egyptians it, had? Yep, with... exactly. Exactly, as you said. Yep. And so it's like an ancient uh, key. And here's one. There's one in Istanbul. Yeah, it's it's ancient key to another uh, dimension, just by the way. So th the Japanese, just like the Egyptians, they have a different place that they go to regarding the, uh, maybe their um, lineage or where they come from? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, you are right. So it's, would, would you say that different um, species influence different races? Or is that is that wrong to say? Yeah, no, no, you are right. It's true. It's true. Definitely, it's true. Yeah. That that's why we we do feel there's a difference of mindset and appearance and so forth. Yeah, you are right. Um, how is how are the species? How do they perceive um, interracial connections? Is that okay? Is not okay for some? Or what? What do you mean for some? I don't know. What well, I don't. By. I don't know. I mean, like, um, so if they're from their their um, their species that came in and created these uh, different um, civilizations. I mean, it's it's good there because we are mixed. <laughs> we we are mixed, and so they're they're in favor of that, right? Yeah. They or kind of like experimenting. Them. They like experimenting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So experiments have been going on for a long time but not to since, try to harm since, since pretty much pretty much since we exist yeah because not, we not are to harm experiment. not to harm to get right. uh, the best uh, outcome but technically that's a question what well, is we, best ask outcome and for who yeah and he, humanity a, was created <laughs> by multiple species right you know yeah that's a that's a question what is good what is bad you know intention it's 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 a matter of point of view it's not easy right okay yeah. so i'm gonna go i'm gonna skip over because we've had something else um and i think that covers all all of the stuff we already looked at 
Uh, we looked at that. Um, I brought up the Kraken because, well, that uh, we're, we're not going to talk about that just yet. Yeah, maybe now. Yeah, yeah. Right. Here's a movie that I saw that you know had um, Heather Shaw in it. Oh no! It's called Kill Command. Yep. All right, this movie came out in 2016, Peter. And essentially, I when I when I've told people, I said, you know, you had some challenges with the Shaw House. It was almost like uh, those robots that wouldn't stop coming after you. No, never. <laughs> Forget about that. And this is sort of what they look. You mentioned something about spiders. And yep, you are right. So, have you had an encounter with anything like this? This uh, corporation, I guess, what are they called? Harbinger? Yeah. But they called the Harbinger Corp, but they don't really have anything on them. It was just in the movie. Yes, but technically, technically, they look like uh, uh, spy normal spiders, but abnormally big. And once you start to hit them hardly, hard, they went, they go like such electronic ish like something like that yeah you were right so then they yep. continue to exist or reattach they yes. can reattach back into the body yeah 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 you are right so it's Absolutely. like you're perpetually fighting and, and you uh, and you can't uh, you can't stop them would this i was thinking that this was kind of what you've been going through with the shaw house am i yes. correct <clears throat> yep you are right that's don't great. start! Don't start choking now. I didn't mean to stir anything up. <sighs> no, it's fine. Yeah, I know. Just the thought of it, um, because people are trying to understand. And I said, "Well, think about having to deal with this." And uh, I think a mutual friend of ours says, "Oh my God, that's a nightmare." Yeah, it's crazy. Because I think these guys thought they were just going into uh, some kind of uh, training. Yeah, that's 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 for them. It's like you know, it's training, and they won't stop. Nope. Right, and they they thought they, they were won't just going stop. in for training, nope. and they, they won't were like, stop. and they said, "Well, what's going on? Where is? Aren't they supposed to stop? Because we're just training." And then what they did was, the 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 uh, machines were actually learning from the military guys in how to act. Yeah, and how to um combat and so the more they try to do something and then they do it against them and they're they're rep replicating their tactics which became yep. like um a, a bigger problem so um and you see and heather there is is like an, an android i mean you can see her eyes yeah but technically that that is what she is yeah that is what she is that's yep. it. It's crazy. Yeah. And so um, that's, I mean. And I don't know why, why uh, she wants babies with me. I don't like her babies. I mean, to have babies with her. No. That's a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> a very bad idea because here again, like I thought that, you know, if you had a, if she used your genetics, that she could use it against you very much like that's the, the machines stuff. here. Yeah. 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 And, and I just, stuff. I want to say that we're all supporting you, Peter, to, to uh, yeah. you know, stand your ground. She's always her. saying nonsenses to me, you know. Yeah. And so this, this is, um, the, so there's a bunch of them, right? And that, uh, bunch of, those, uh, what is Shaw it? House, like? Those are related to Shaw House. Yeah, movies, TV shows, whatever. Yep. Well, no, right. but the actual beings that are running it. Uh, yeah, you are right. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you but see they that are described? They are described in multiple movies, whatever TV shows. Yep. Yeah. Um, do you do you see any time in the future that do you see an opening or break from some of the stuff that they've done? I don't know. I need to be patient. You know. Yeah. And cautious, and cautious. Don't, uh, no need to rush, because it will ruin everything we achieved, you know. Yeah, and we don't want to talk too much about information that when you're still in operations to keep it. <laughs> yeah, you are right. 
Yeah. But I, I think so people don't think that you're exaggerating that just to try to or to they don't understand. They don't fully understand what's going on or what, what you've been through or whatever. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that kind of thing. But you're you've been trained as well and you're equipped and you're on the front lines. Yeah, well, all right. Yeah. So, um, but I think I think that's the end of our topics for today. And okay, that's that's fine. And I think we're yeah, you are right. As I can see, you are right. I mean, there's always more things to talk about, but I think we did cover. I think what what um, is going on right now, and yeah. I I have already talked a little bit about it. I said to some people, I already said something about it's raining cats and dogs, you know, because it's all about, about these uh, cat species that have been showing up everywhere and and dogs um, with the, the different colored dogs. And, you know, we had the, the Akitas and, and some other things that we've talked about in the past in the lynx. So um, these are reactions to what's happening around our world and, and the portals that are opening and all this other stuff. So... We just want to keep on top of things. If anyone's seen anything like this, I've had people contact me about dreams that they've had. And uh, it, it seems to uh, continue like this. But um, as the more we understand, the more we're able to deal with it. And um, of course, we have other problems too with these experiments, the, this universal experiments on uh, the pandemic. And uh, I'm just uh, asking, encouraging people to stay strong, maybe, um, you know, connecting to the earth, asking for protection, asking. Yes, you are right. Going mm -hmm. within, doing your meditations, ask the God source for protection. And, uh, you know, and then we can get through this. Does that sound, sound good? Yep. The best what we can uh, advise, uh, I think. Today's show is in the end. Uh, once I want to thank you for another opportunity to be on your channel. And I'm looking forward uh, for next time. So till then, bye-bye. Okay, and thank you, Peter, for being here. And also I want to say that um, I'm going to leave a meditation for people as well that we already did on health and wellness. And it's actually going to cover, you know, the, uh, some of the pandemic issues. So if you, you're in a situation right now, you're feeling pressured uh, to take certain things, um, just, uh, you know, to give you some support emotionally uh, to help you to stay grounded and so forth. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for listening and have a good day. You have been listening to The Disclosures with Peter the Insider and Jessica Morocco. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Visit www.acio-agency.org and www.readingsbyarial.com Post your questions and comments below. We look forward to hearing from you. Feel free to support our work. All the links can be found in the description. Thank you.